Welcome. Systems check. System all clear. Initiating startup protocol. Welcome trivia and crypto degenerates. Access granted. Enjoy the descent into this immersive game of knowledge. All right, perfect. There we go. We're live. Welcome, everybody, as always. Uh, what's going on tonight, Dan? Oh, not too much. I uh, I didn't do any of the questions today, but I believe I did two. I think I only did two, and Kyle did the rest of them tonight. So yep. I'm going to be in for just as much a treat as everyone else. I believe it's all grab bag, correct? Everything is? Yeah, yeah. Everything Everything's random. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't think really any any rhyme or reason. I was gonna put some uh, I was gonna put some college basketball stuff on there because the national championship actually just started here a few minutes ago, I think. But uh, I figured no, we uh, we'll just we'll just do a bunch of random stuff. Fair enough. Um, so speaking of college basketball, who you got winning tonight? Uh, I mean, I. I'd like to see North Carolina just because they're the lower seed and everything. And I guess if anybody had to knock coach K out, then I hope that they end up winning it all. Um, yeah. I think Kansas is the better team. I think Kansas should win, but um, I don't think there's anybody that's playing better right now than Carolina, especially if, um, Oh, Baycott there, their big guy. Uh, he's, he's a beast. Yeah. He's had back to back 20 rebound games. Jeez. That's crazy. He's a stud. So if he uh, if he plays well, I think Carolina will win. But I think the better team's Kansas, and I actually like Bill Self. So I do too. I wouldn't I mind seeing him. I, I don't think he gets enough credit for how how uh, consistent he's been. You know, they haven't yeah. always made deep tournament runs, but with how many Big Twelve championships he's won and how how tough they are every year, he just doesn't yes. get a lot of credit. I would agree. I said the same thing actually a couple days ago about that. Mm-hmm. Jerry says, "Nice cut. I'll take that." I like that. Thank you. So let's get started um, and let's do this thing. All right. That's that's where I'm at. I uh, looks like we're going to, I don't know if we're going to have people joining us late or not. We're, we got light on numbers, but you know what? I don't care. That's okay. Everybody's watching the championship. Must be. That's what I'm going to be doing right after. Let's see. Let's get that. And are we good? Did it, there we go. All right. <clears throat> you want to start round? I'll I can I'll start off round one. Bobby right. says, Kyle, you got some windburn. Yeah, I actually just I just finished running uh like a half hour ago and then I showered real quick. So I probably do. All right, which animal's milk will never never curdle? It's, it's an interesting one. Water buffalo, sheep, goat, or camel? Ew. Does that mean you can drink it, or does it just mean it doesn't curdle? Does it go bad? That I don't know. That's actually an, that's an interesting question. I don't know. I've never heard of, honestly, really sheep milk or water, water buffalo. That's an interesting one. <laughs> you, don't really, you know, it's funny. I don't really think of, even though, like, I know mammals obviously produce milk, but, like, I never thought of something like a water buffalo having edible milk. I don't, so I have, no, I have no idea there. about water buffaloes. I just threw them in there just to uh, try to throw some people <laughs> off, hoping somebody would go for it. But, yeah, it is uh, it is a camel. Huh. Okay, most people got that. Yeah, what I'm curious about is if it's if it's – edible without like getting sick off of it Mm -hmm. after a few days Mm -hmm. all right question number two what is the sun mostly made up of hydrogen or excuse me oxygen nitrogen hydrogen or helium i have no idea see i wouldn't have known this either and i feel like this is either this is either a question that's really simple and just i'm terrible at science so i wouldn't get it anyway or maybe it is a really difficult question (laughs) that i don't know wow everyone's going with hydrogen if it is hydrogen i'm gonna feel dumb because i didn't know yeah, literally. Wow, literally everybody went with hydrogen, or did like hmm. everyone just pick what? Joey went with nitrogen. It's going a little different. I like that. So it is hydrogen. Um, I would have, if it was me, honestly, I think I would have went with helium. I don't know why. It just 
for some yeah. reason sounded right. But yeah, I would I wouldn't disagree with that. <clears throat> wow. So well, Jack says everybody, everybody got that. Down. Wow. With some helium mixed in. Hmm. All right. Uh ganache is a combination of cream and what? Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, or caramel. Or caramel. See, I would have known this one. Hmm. I would have known this because my wife loves chocolate. And she's ordered chocolate ganache before. So I would have I would have gotten this one. To me, I mean, I love chocolate, but if I'm given the choice between chocolate or vanilla, I'm taking vanilla every time. Yeah, I agree. There's very few exceptions. I'm trying to think of something that would be an exception to that rule. Like to me, I don't like chocolate cake. I just don't like cake in general. I, yeah, I Okay, I'll rephrase it. I like chocolate cake if it has peanut butter frosting. Like I mm. prefer peanut butter with my chocolate, but given the choice, like if I have to, not really a big cake person, but if I have the choice, vanilla every time. Ice cream for sure, vanilla. Oh, yeah, 100%. All right, question number four. On every continent, there's a city named what? Rome, Odessa, Madrid, or London? Jerry says, oh, hell no, chocolate every time. See, that would be my wife and my daughter. They both would absolutely say chocolate. I've always been a vanilla person. Yep. Um, I believe London. That's just my, I know there's like, Odessa, <clears throat> um, Texas, so, and then there's obviously a, we live near Odessa. You live in Odessa. I but that there's an Odessa matter. in Europe because I think there's an Odessa in Russia, isn't there? I don't know if it's Ukraine or Russia now. I or uh, no, where's or, yeah? There's an Odessa in Russia. There's an Odessa in Rome. Somewhere okay, in, somewhere in Europe. Yeah, in Asia. There, I I don't know. There's an Odessa and a few different ones, but yes, it is, it is Rome. Rome is on every continent. And then uh, um, I, I figured we'd get a few people on that one. All right. Which burrowing animal can find its way around his burrow despite being almost blind? A possum, a mole, fox, or a fisher? Yeah, okay. So I, I, it is Ukraine, which, you know, I think um, – I don't know why I was thinking at first too, Kyle. I was originally thinking Russia, but it, 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 yeah, I guess I guess it is Ukraine. But yeah, I, for some reason I don't know why I kept thinking Russia. So Jeffrey says he's a chocolate milkaholic. Yes, mm. chocolate milk definitely. See, Tess and Lila drink chocolate almond milk. Which what the hell? I did, why would you I just check your daughter to that? What is wrong yeah. with you? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> poor See, I, I just, I just, I have no idea what it tastes like. I refuse to drink it because I, oh, I hate almond milk. Good God. Why well, would, oh, poor Lila. You need to spend an <laughs> afternoon with Uncle Dan. You can have chocolate milk together. <laughs> All right. So, right off the bat, we had Mitch going five for five. <clears throat> With a point, and then we got a lot, dirt of, a lot, of, a lot of high scores on that. Nobody with below Jerry. a three. Got to step That's up funny. some of these questions. Yeah, Jerry says the outskirts of Odessa got bombed yesterday with the field depot. Got, yeah, I. Uh, I this is gonna sound really bad, and I don't mean it this way, but I when I think of like Russia and all the like Ukraine and. I still think of Soviet Union locations only because I'm a big history person. And <laughs> between like World War II and like 1990s mm -hmm. history is like, so like the 40s to the 90s of the 20th century, I really, geographically, that's what I think of. Yeah, I would agree. <clears throat> All right, number one, Albania is located on which continent? South America, Europe, or Africa? You know it's a Kyle question when uh, <laughs> all four. I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head where the fourth answer was because Asia was supposed to be on there. Maybe <laughs> I accidentally X'd it out. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so everybody going with Europe. See, if I had to answer quick, 
I would have thought Africa. I, maybe I'm thinking of mm-hmm. Algeria. Right. Yeah. But That's like, I, to me, like, I don't know. For some reason, I would have went Africa. Yeah, I think if yeah, I. You're not wrong. I don't disagree with you on that one. But yes, everybody, everybody did get it. So Europe is the correct answer. All right, number two. What are plants that grow, reproduce, and die all in one season called? Semi-perennials, semi-annuals, perennials, or annuals. <clears throat> I would definitely not know this. This would this so, would definitely be something that, that like Tess would know, but I would have no clue on this. So I believe, I do know, I believe. So I believe... <clears throat> Plant that grows, reproduces, and dies on the same season, I believe, is a perennial or is an annual. It's an annual because I it dies. I think it's an annual. Yes. Yes. It di- Yeah. It's an annual because it dies. So a uh, perennial is one that like has to be planted every year. I believe, like those okay, stupid yep. flowers that moms want on Mother's Day. That everyone gets and spends a bunch of money. Okay, I'm just saying those things never mm-hmm. survive more than like if it rains hard one time, they all die. <laughs> yeah, that's the true. I cannot remember the name of them, but ugh. all right. The Louvre is located in which country? Sweden, Spain, Germany, or France? Is it Louvre, Louvre? I think it's the Lerve or Lerve. Oh, Lerve. The I, Lerve. Think I think it's the Lerve. I could be wrong. Maybe someone please correct us. <clears throat> A lot of people going. Oh, it's pronounced Louvre. Mm. The Louvre. I like yours better. Louvre. <laughs> Louvre. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> fancier. It, it really does. Let's go to the Louvre. So it is it is France. So most people, it looks like, did get that. Yeah, another one right there. I don't think I would have gotten that. <clears throat> I'm not great with geography. Not good at pronouncing it either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number four. At what temperature on the Celsius scale does water freeze? 5, 20... 10 or zero? Oh, boy. Let's see. This is where our Canadian friends up north are going to excel at this. All you got to do is wait for one of them to answer. <laughs> I do not know. I feel like it's something I should know. <clears throat> so it is zero because I believe zero is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. That's when water freezes. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. You're right. <clears throat> so it's going to be an interesting round because I feel like, again, a lot of people did well this round. It's going to be, I think, going to come down to uh, who was fastest to answer. Yeah. Well, and we got one more question. So th- maybe this is the one that stumps people. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I didn't even realize we had another question. All right, here we go. Number five. What is the name of the largest shark? The whale shark, the tiger shark, the hammerhead, or the great white? You know, to me, this is an easy one only because I, for a long time, had a weird thing about sharks because you guys kind of like, I had a bunch of shark books and stuff. When I was in like fourth and fifth grade, (coughs) I had a shark obsession. Yeah, along with dinosaurs, but I I could tell you a lot of interesting facts about sharks. Whale head, the whale head, the marine hammerhead, the whale shark is the largest on here, followed by the great white, then the tiger, and then the hammerhead. So, out of all of these, which one do you think has the least amount of human attacks? Probably the whale shark. Yeah, I don't think the whale sharks ever actually, at least from what. I think I was gonna say it's big, but it's not like a big bully. Like the the great white is way more uh, aggressive, isn't it? Well, actually, the hammer or the not, excuse me, not the hammerhead, but the uh, tiger shark has the most deaths recorded. Tiger oh, really? sharks are nasty. Yeah, they're just not as big, hmm. but they're like think of them as like a fucking pit bull. 
Those things are they can be vicious. All right, so Jerry going for it. We had uh all three people go five for five on that for the placing. So Jerry, um, Carrie, and Stephanie. All with a point. So we got Jerry with two, Dirk, Mitch, Carrie, and Stephanie, all with one apiece. I was uh I was playing basketball tonight and someone broke the hoop when they like dunked it. That was interesting. Really? Yeah, like the bolts that like hold it up, like one of them like kind of gave out and like the whole thing came down like three or four feet. Oh wow. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Round number three. Question one. In which capital city would you find the Louvre? <laughs> Paris, Marseille, Lyon, or Bordeaux? Bordeaux. That's a cool name. Mm-hmm. Blue. Kyle, it seems to be something that I think only you didn't know. Yeah, apparently everybody else seems to know that uh, that it's in Paris. I would have had no idea. Oh, so they're saying that the second one is Marseille. Oh, it's, of course, because it's French. So, like, Lion is Lyon. You know? Yeah, see, I thought it was like all right, Marseille. France, when you actually win a goddamn war in the last 200 years, then you can correct me on how I pronounce something. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <sighs> gosh alright question number two during which Chinese dynasty was the Great Wall of China built Ooh. the Zhu the Yuan, the Yuan, Yuan I'm, I'm sure I'm uh, botching these the Qin or the Ming so my the question because the Chinese currency is the Yuan so I'm wondering if the Yuan was Yuan. like like started you know with the name of it coming after Ooh. this one right here i don't know i just kind of thought of that but maybe that's well, not a bad theory a lot of people go on with four which is the ming i knew a lot of people would go four because the ming dynasty at least in my opinion that's the first one that i think of um sure. it was not the ming dynasty it actually was I don't know if it's kin or keen or what whatever it's called, yeah but it is number three you know what's interesting is like just you gotta think about how long ago that was and the fact that they actually i mean that thing the fact that they built that and it can be seen from space that's pretty amazing mm -hmm. all right question number three which u.s president started the tradition of having a national christmas tree in the white house lawn roosevelt kennedy ford or coolidge So I guess for this one, part of it you have to know, I guess, like time period of when that would have started. And then I don't know who knows some random facts. I'm gonna go like you know, Gerald Ford's <laughs> not remembered for much, so let's give the guy something. Which one? Gerald Ford. Final uh, close. So Coolidge actually was was the answer, but yeah, I felt like I felt like throwing one and two in there would throw some people off just because, you know, they're both obviously very, very well-known presidents. And then, yeah, Ford and Coolidge, like, don't don't really get a ton of notoriety. Yeah. Well, you didn't specify which Roosevelt either, so I oh, guess that, that should have given it away for me. It good didn't. Point. But upon further well, That also could give two possible answers for oh, it, too, That's though. true. Two people that could have done it. <laughs> Question number four. What the mask worn by the character Michael Myers in Halloween is of which celebrity? Old Bill Shatner, Stuart Craig, Marlon Brando, or Jack Nicholson. So Stephanie the other day didn't know who Marlon Brando was. What? She got a harsh history lesson from her husband. <laughs> on that. A stern lecture. A stern talking to. <laughs> so the Michael Myers mask was a William Shatner Captain Kirk mask from Star Trek. Yep. It was $1.25 at the time. They just turned it inside out, spray painted a white, widened the eye holes, and slicked the hair back. Yep. 
And now, really and for some it. reason, up until the recent movies, they could never get it right after the first one. The mask always looked different every fucking movie, and I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> All right, final question of round three. What is the fastest fish in the sea? Tuna, swordfish, a sailfish, or a marlin? Hmm. I'm going to be honest. I thought a marlin and a swordfish were the same thing. I think there's a difference, but I'm not sure. I don't know exactly, but they look very similar. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it's not one of those two. That's what I'm going to go with. It's definitely not one of the two. In I, my opinion, knew, I knew all three of those would get a lot of answers because they're three of the most well-known fish, but it is, in fact, a sailfish. Hmm. So well, tuna, tuna, I think, is one of the biggest fish. Yeah, I don't know if it's known for speed or not, but I've always kind of viewed a tuna as like that's like the tugboat. It doesn't move very fast, I don't think. Yep. And then marlin and swordfish, I have no idea if they're fast or not. But yeah, it is a sailfish. Yep. When you eat uh, all the cookies, you're just sailfish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carrie says she loves the Halloween franchise. I do too, Carrie. It's my favorite horror franchise by a mile. I mean, I love other ones too, but I, I just something special for me. All right. Uh, Man, so look at, third, look at that. We went from like everybody getting everything to that that round right there. Yeah, that was a brutal one. Dirt wow. got four, and then it definitely dropped off a little bit. Uh, so Jackpot is on the board now with one, and Bobby is on the board with one. So we got. At first, going into round four, we got first place Dirk and Jerry at two apiece. And then second place, we got Mitch, Carrie, Stephanie, Jackpot, and Bobby with one apiece. Carrie says, I can't believe they're ending Michael Myers this year. No, and they're not. They're having Halloween ends, but I'm telling you right now, you give it another couple of years. That, that franchise... Even this past year in COVID, those movies are cheap to make and it makes tons of money. As you say, it makes way too they much money. They will never end Michael Myers. Nope. It'll just be a retelling of some sort, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, number one. Which member of the Beatles married Yoko Ono? Ringo Starr, Pete Best, John Lennon, or George Harrison? Good old Yoko. Wow, okay. Everybody... Everybody getting that one with John Lennon. I think she's just the most like famous home wrecker. I shouldn't say home wrecker, she's band wrecker, but like she just came in and I think kind of just like broke the whole band. I mean, really it didn't take her very long. She came in and because like he would insist on her being, you know, at recording sessions, and she just like Yep. I don't know. No one else in the band liked her. It's interesting. I feel like by the time the I Beatles even got famous in the US. From what I understand, it sounds like they really kind of got tired of the fame already and just like honestly, you know. I prefer a lot of their music when they were solo anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would I would agree. Number two, the biggest selling music single of all time is <clears throat> Yeah, Jailhouse Rock, Hotel California, or Candle in the Wind. So Jerry says they were doomed before Yoko. It's interesting, and I, I wouldn't disagree. Like I said, I think they just were not only sick of the fame, but I think in general, like they didn't necessarily always get along. They had different mm -hmm. personalities. But I don't know a ton about the Beatles, so if you have something to add, Jerry, please enlighten us. Okay? <laughs> I'm always curious to learn more. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, um, I don't know a ton about the Beatles. See, so you, you have a lot of different. You have Jailhouse Rock. You have Yeah, Hotel <laughs> California and Candlewind. They're all very different styles of music. Yep. I feel like Candle, it's got to be Candle in the Wind. I feel like it's cheating because of the circumstances in which it was done. Yes, but it, it, is, it is Candle in the Wind um, because of the whole Princess Diana thing. Um, I knew Jailhouse Rock would get something because of Elvis. Yeah, obviously was really big when we were teenagers. And then um, Hotel California obviously is a big one too. All right, this 90s, 2000s band had a one-hit wonder titled The Middle. Who is it? The Verve, Switchfoot, Jimmy World, or Hoobastank? <laughs> uh, a lot of one-hit wonders in the 90s and 2000s. So Jerry said they were sick of each other before Yoko. Do you think 
you think the ironic thing is like they all like joined up as a band not because they were friends but because it was like i feel like especially back then you band hopped until you hit it you know what i mean like you find out like people like you know uh eric clapton for instance the dude's been in a fifty thousand fucking bands yep and like is considered one of the best if not the best guitarist of all time but like the guy was in a bunch of different ones so do you think they're like, oh, this we'll just do this as a paycheck until we, you know, until something else comes along, and then they like accidentally got famous, and they're like, well, fuck, now I have to put up with the other three <laughs> assholes the entire time. Like that would kind of suck. I mean, you really think about it, like I don't like these people, but man, we. Yeah, that's why them. you want to be a one hit wonder. Then you know, hey, one yeah. and done. Make your money, yeah. move on. Uh, number four. For what reason would a spotted hyena laugh? Nervousness, exhaustion, excitement, or aggression? See, I think that's why I like like the 90s and 2000s uh, music so much is there's so many one hit wonders. And I think it's a good thing because it's very rare that you get a band that has so many hits. All like think think back like on history, how many bands actually can put together, you know, like decades of success or multiple albums with a ton of success. Like there's not a ton of them compared to there's way more one hit wonders because you go hard for one song and then they cash in on it and then they're done true um so will william uh on facebook so william it's easier to play on youtube you can join us on youtube under trivia vice but if you want to play on facebook go right ahead um just type in one two three or four um so you where to go to play so just type in trivia vice on youtube and it'll pop right up and you just type in one two three or four to answer yep all right number five harvard university is located in which city washington dc Providence, New York, or Cambridge? Oh boy, Jerry coming at Kyle's taste in music, saying oh. music blandness. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out there: Beatles, music blandness. Yeah, but you gotta think how much they originate. I mean, yeah, think though they were at the time. I mean, yeah, you hear it now; it's yeah. definitely a little more. Kyle's just like, man, can't change Meh. my mind. Meh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I love old school music. Um, I, I love older music, but I, I've just never been a huge Beatles fan. Some of their stuff is okay, but to mm-hmm. me, it's kind of like the Beach Boys. Everybody loves the Beach Boys. I don't get it. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind the I don't like love. The, I don't think anyone lo- I feel like nobody nowadays really loves the Beach Boys, but I like, I mean, you know, come on. You're telling me like Kokomo is not a catchy song okay it's catchy yeah yeah come on but it's like a one listen that i'm i am with jerry like 80s years. 80s hand down is the best you got great rock and roll you got great i, I do love the 80s and there's plenty of good one-hit wonders all right so bobby now yeah. has two points uh jerry has three and jackpot has two okay so now we have jerry at the top going into round five with three uh, Dirk, Jackpot, and Bobby with <clears throat> two apiece in second place, and then Mitch, Carrie, and Stephanie in third place with one apiece. All right, I'll what I'll say is 2010s and 2020s music is bland. Yeah, I would. There's, yeah, exactly. There's obviously there, exceptions. There's, the a few, there's a few exceptions here and there, but just not a fan. But yeah, I mean, um. There's definitely not as much creativity, I feel like, now. Because of part of it too, I guess we've got the benefit of having things like Pandora and Spotify and stuff like that. Like oh yeah, that we never had before, you know. Yes. All right. Uh question number one, round five. Which of the following is not the name of a Bond girl? Why Lynn, Vanessa Kensington, Pam Bouvier, or Mary Goodnight? Does Kyle know this one? Oh, I believe it's three. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. Mrs. Kensington from Austin Power. Oh, oh okay. I, I totally missed that right yeah. there. Yeah. Mrs. Kensington. We literally, <laughs> totally, there's a yeah, mattress. I, I totally missed that right there's there. A mattress, I skipped right over it. There's a mattress that we sell in their stores called the Kensington. And every time <laughs> we go by it, I literally make that like – because um <laughs> yeah i totally skipped right over that see apparently everybody else did too uh, not carrie she knew 
Or it was yeah, a good totally, one. She maybe totally she knew the Austin Powers that. reference. I hope so. <laughs> All right, question number two. Where does the original Friday the 13th movie take place? Packamac, Higgins Haven, Camp Forest Green, or Camp Crystal Lake? So this actually was not supposed to be on here. This was actually supposed to be saved for a future game. Interesting. I think it's a question that we've done, too. It is, but this was actually... Yeah, this was the original formatted question. It was supposed to be saved for another another day. I had it stashed away in my rainy day fund. <laughs> yeah, the good news is by the time we use it again, it'll probably be like October, so that's a good... Yes. That's a good six months away, so that'll be uh, plenty of time in between. The the uh, It's a future me problem. <laughs> so it is Camp Crystal Lake. It's where the majority of Friday the 13th movies take place. Then you got like Jason X where he just goes to space. I feel like any movie when it takes it to space usually is like that's when you know franchise <laughs> needs to die or at least be dormant for a while. All right, question number three. Which of these Disney classics were released in 1970? The Little Mermaid, The Fox and the Hound, The Aristocats, or 101 Dalmatians? All right, which one is your favorite and which one's your least favorite? Ooh. Okay, least favorite's Aristocats, which it should be the wow. answer. Wow. Uh, maybe you know what? Maybe what? it's because I haven't I haven't seen the Aristocats in a long time. I haven't seen all of them except for the Little Mermaid in a while, but like to me, my favorite, and I have to watch it again because it's been a long time. <laughs> I love Fox and the Hound. Oh yeah, I love Fox and the Hound. Um probably then between Little Mermaid and Aristocats. 101 Dalmatians, I just never liked. Oh, I, I dude, the Colonel and as hilarious. Jasper and Horace are hilarious. <laughs> Like, I'll have to watch it again. But um, Lila watched The Fox and the Hound a little while ago. She loves when he's like, oh, I'm a hound dog. <laughs> you, see, I can actually do that right now because my voice is uh, all raspy. <laughs> all right, question number four. Before Jurassic Park 3 was finalized and the Spinosaurus was chosen, which dinosaur was going to be the star of the film? The Velociraptor, the T-Rex, the Suchomimus, or the Baryonyx? So for those who do not know, the like Star or Star Wars for Jurassic Park after the first film, like Spielberg was like T Rex is the star of the show. That's why he came back at the end of the movie and kind of saved the day. And then in the second one, they decided you know two of them, and they wanted to be in San Diego and all that. So they consider the dinosaur one of them to be the star. We're like the Raptors are the villain, which is funny because the Spino is the villain too. But the, actually, the Suchomimus and Baryonyx were both mentioned in the film because they didn't know it was a Spinosaurus. Uh, they mentioned Suchomimus because of the snout, um, but Baryonyx is also mentioned as well. So it is Baryonyx. So the Velociraptor in every movie is kind of the villain. I know that's kind of a weird way of putting it. Anyway, question number five. What is the orange and white droid name in Star Wars Force Awakens? R2-D2? BC3, BB8, and AAA. <laughs> uh, Jackpot says 101 Dalmatians was awesome. It was Cruella that did it for me. Great villain. I would agree. Cruella is a really good oh, villain. How is she a good villain? She wants to take the puppies to turn them into a coat. That's why she's a villain. I know, but like, doesn't make she's, her a good villain. It's a weird, that's a very weird. That's what I'm saying. She's motive. crazy. She's crazy. But yeah. then she hires like, <laughs> the biggest dipshits ever to to try to do it for. To be fair, who is gonna follow along with her unless you're a dipshit? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's totally messed up. But like, I don't know. It's uh, I find it I find it funny. So BB-8, one of the more tolerable things of the sequel trilogy, and I you know I don't hate the yeah. sequels like some people. I just don't love them as much. It's still Star Wars, so I still like it. I can't wait for the uh, Obi Wan series. Me either. I'm very um, excited. All right, so Jackpot now has three, and Stephanie has two, and Dirk now has three. So we have a three way tie uh, between Dirk, Jerry, and Jackpot with three apiece. Stephanie and Bobby have two in second place, and then Carrie and Mitch have one apiece going in to the bonus. So as you guys know. The bonus round, it's the first only person who gets it the quickest and most correct. 
So, Kyle, you want to tell them what they have tonight? It's it's a not a it's a write in. It's not a one, two, three, or four. As you say, it's a write in. I'm trying to remember what we did for a bonus. Arizona, Kyle. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. You got to be closest to the right answer. Yes, closest wins. All right. And if you are standing in New York City, how far would you have to travel to get to Winslow, Arizona? Closest in terms of miles. Closest person to the answer. I will give you a hint. It is over 2,000 miles, but less than 3,000. Stephanie, I am proud of you for getting the dinosaur question right. Now, if you Jerry actually watch fairly close. Jerry's is very close. Uh, so far, Dirk is the closest. With Dirk is very, very close. Roughly the first right-hand answer. So like Joey going with 12 and then 2,500. So it looks like out of the answers that went in there, it looks like Dirk is the first and the closest. Yep. So that gets him the fourth point, which will give him the give him the dub. So, so it was 2255 was the uh, exact total distance. Winslow, Arizona to New York City. So, guys, thank you so much for playing. I uh, hope you guys have a great night. We'll be here same time, same place on Wednesday night. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys.